This is an introductory presentation for PacSize, which is an MASW data processing software for Windows. My name is Chun Park from PacSizeMic, and I am the author of this software. Let me briefly introduce myself. I founded PacSizeMic LLC in 2006. Until then, I was working at the Kansas Geological Survey as a research scientist. I am the lead author of the MASW technique, which was published on the journal Geophysics in 1999. During my entire research career, I published more than 100 MASW-related articles. I received my PhD degree from University of Kansas and master's degree from Ohio University in geology with a geophysics emphasis. I got my bachelor's degree in physics education from Seoul National University. PacSize is a software for MASW data processing. MASW stands for Multi-Channel Analysis of Surface Waves. It is a seismic surface wave technique, first introduced on geophysics. It generates a shear wave velocity profile in 1D, 2D, and depth slice formats. The active method covers a depth range of about 30 meters, while the passive method covers more than that. PacSize is the most comprehensive and up-to-date MASW software currently available on the market. It is the second generation of SurfSize software, which was the first MASW software that I and my colleagues at the Kansas Geological Survey developed in 1999. PacSize can process MSW datasets from active, passive, and active-passive combined MSW surveys. It is compatible with the datasets from all new and old seismographs of 12 or more channels that include Geode, SmartSize, StratAview, StratAvisor, DAQ, and RAS24 and many other commercially available multi-channel seismographs. PacSize is also compatible with the datasets from other seismic surveys, for example, REMI, Refraction, and Reflection surveys. In this case, the software automatically arranges input dataset according to the format that is compatible with the MASW at the beginning of the analysis. Input to PacSize is a seismic dataset in SAG2 format, which is an engineering standard. Output from PacSize is a shear wave velocity profile in 1D, 2D, and depth slice format. PacSize incorporates the most up-to-date algorithms in MASW technique for active, passive, and active-passive combined surveys. It has been tested with diverse datasets during the last 20 years of research and data processing services. Therefore, it generates the most reliable results of MASW surveys. One of the most common applications with the MASW survey is the seismic site characterization that generates this kind of 1D shear wave velocity profile with the seismic site class automatically assigned based on the most common classification table as shown here. PacSize incorporates the most intuitive and user-friendly graphical interface throughout entire analysis steps. So those otherwise complicated and confusing implementations such as field geometry setup as illustrated here proceed very smoothly with the graphical wizard-based approaches. This illustrates such a setup applied during the field geometry setup for active MASW surveys. And this illustrates the same for passive MASW surveys. PacSize includes various types of display modules that can help easily understand otherwise ambiguous parameters as illustrated here for the field geometry of an active MASW survey. PacSize has made most of the critical processing steps fully automated as illustrated here 
for the dispersion image generation. All the processing parameters are automatically configured by the program's optimization algorithm, and the analysis proceeds by simply clicking one button. And this illustrates the same fully automated process for inversion analysis. But at the same time, PuckSize also provides full manual control of all critical processing parameters as illustrated here for the dispersion image generation process. This full manual control will provide a great flexibility for those experienced users, especially for research purposes. For those implementation steps that require users' manual intervention, the operation has been simplified as much as possible to avoid ambiguity and confusion by introducing step-by-step -step systematic procedure that are often facilitated by proper graphical interface as illustrated here for the process of dispersion curve extraction. In puck size, those operations that can be otherwise very much involved are implemented very easily by using mouse-controlled graphical interface, as illustrated here for the real-time manual inversion of measured dispersion curve. The theoretical dispersion curve is updated immediately after layered Earth model is changed by mouse in seismic velocities as well as density. And this process can proceed until the user finds a model that best fits the measured dispersion curve and also conforms to prior information, such as borehole data. PuckSize generates the shear wave velocity information as the final product. At the same time, it also provides the ways to convert the velocity information into Young's and shear moduli by using either constant values of density and Poisson's ratio, or you can provide their spatial variation through a simple text file format at multiple locations along the survey line. This display illustrates depth slices of Young's and shear moduli converted from multiple 2D shear wave velocity cross-sections. In addition to those modules for normal MASW analysis, PuckSize provides various types of special analysis modules that include backscattering analysis, as illustrated here, that can be used to detect subsurface anomalies such as voids. It also includes modeling capabilities that can generate synthetic modal dispersion curves as well as a synthetic seismic records. Based on a layered Earth model, which can be easily generated by using a graphical interface. It also includes a module that can generate common offset sections that can provide supplementary information to be compared with the velocity cross-section as illustrated here. This kind of comparison can often facilitate subsurface interpretation. Another special analysis module included in the puck size is the frequency summation method that can be used to evaluate bedrock velocities in both P and S waves, as illustrated here. It simply sums all the amplitudes in this dispersion image along the frequency axis to generate this kind of summed curve in which two peaks correspond to P and S wave velocities of bedrock. This is one of the most recently developed techniques in MASW. Because the final 2D velocity cross-section is constructed from multiple number of 1D profiles, it is often necessary to go back to one of the original 1D profiles to better understand the certain features observed on the cross-section. At the same time, it is often also necessary to go back to the original measured dispersion curve to better understand the velocity structures observed in 1D profile. PuckSize provides the ways for this complete interaction between the original measured dispersion curve 
and corresponding inverted 1D profile and the final 2D cross-section. This kind of full interactive control can turn out to be highly useful once you become a very much experienced user of the Parkside software. Parkside provides health files by many topical areas in user guide format. These files provide not only those instructions of how to use software features, but also they provide descriptions of background theories. Those user guide files come with a complete list of MASW publications that are related to development of this software. They are available in PDF by simply clicking appropriate reference embedded within the file. Video tutorials are available online on the many key topics that include how to generate 1D and 2D shear wave velocity profiles by using sample datasets that come with the software. Tutorials also include how to use special analysis modules such as backscattering analysis and generation of common offset sections. There is a separate video tutorial about the passive and active passive combined MASW analysis module. The PuckSize software comes in two different forms. The most common type is the software run by USB dongle, which provides the greatest mobility because you can freely move the software from one computer to another. However, the fate of the software will be subject to that of the USB dongle. It will be critical to take a serious care of the USB. The single installation has advantages of affordable price and quick online delivery. Once it is installed on a specific computer, there is nothing else you have to take care of rather than the fate of the computer itself. Purchase of the puck size comes with a one-year technical support that includes two sessions of screen share tutorial by using Skype or Google Hangout. You can consult on your own MASW project and send small field datasets to PuckSeismic for concurrent processing so that you can evaluate your own processing results. Maintenance of the software will be unlimited for the first one year by providing updated version whenever major bugs are found. Please contact parksize at parkseismic.com for more information. Thank you very much.